Welcome back. You set up an Asana project to serve as the foundation of your workflow. Now, you'll learn how to optimize your workflow with additional Asana features. Let's review some of the features you can use to optimize your workflows. Forms can help you standardize requests, turning submissions into actionable tasks. Rules can help you automate repetitive steps in a process, eliminating busy work. And approvals can help streamline review cycles. Certain keywords can help you identify where to incorporate these features. For example, words like request, intake, or submit often suggest forms can be useful. Manual, always, or repetition hint at rules while review or approver suggests using approvals. Let's review Alan's description of the MGF event request process and identify which Asana features he can use to optimize it. Team reps submit requests through email and other channels. I always assign each one to the appropriate league manager for review and manually keep their status updated in my spreadsheet. Finally, requests go to our staffing team for approval. Thanks, Alan. Based on your description, I think there are a few ways we can optimize the process. First, let's create a form to standardize your incoming requests. You can link form questions directly to your custom fields, so when the request comes in, those fields will already be filled out. That'll save me so much time. First. I'll add fields for the event name and description. I'll also want to get the name of the league and team. I'll link each of these questions to the fields I created earlier. I'll add a branch for each league so that my submitters will only see the relevant team names. Finally, I'll add a field for estimated budget. Now, when a request gets submitted through the form, it lands as a task in the project and the fields are already updated. Great work. Next, let's add rules to automate repetitive actions in your workflow. Every Asana rule has three main components. A trigger that starts the rule, an optional condition that refines the rule, and an action the rule performs. For example, a simple rule might be when a task is overdue by one day, add a comment reminding the user about the task. Automating some of this busy work sounds great. I spend a lot of time assigning requests to league managers and updating the statuses manually. Let's set up a rule to automatically assign those new requests to the right reviewer based on the league selected in the form. When a task is added to the project, we'll check if the league field is set to Phoenix. If so, we'll assign it to the Phoenix League Manager and update the status to Assigned. We'll repeat this process for each league, adding multiple check-if conditions and actions to the same rule. Talk us through some other steps you'd like to automate, Alan. Once a request is assigned, I always add it to my one-on-one -on -one agenda to review with my manager. This double entry is a bit of a headache. That's a great example. Let's build this out. When the status field is changed, we'll check to see if it's set to assigned.
If so, we'll multi-home it to your one-on-one -on -one agenda with your manager. Nice. We'll also try to keep requesters informed when their request is being reviewed. But sometimes we forget to send a message. An automatic notification would really be helpful. That's easy to do. We'll set up a rule that adds a comment to the task when the status is updated to in review. This time, instead of building a rule manually, let's use Asana AI. Just write out what you want to happen and let Asana AI recommend the appropriate trigger, condition, and action. Now, submitters will always know what's happening with their request. Next, let's talk about approvals and automation. Approvals are a type of Asana task that create clarity around when a request or asset is officially approved. I'll set up a rule to automatically convert tasks to approvals. and assign them to our staffing team when they reach the final approval stage. Nice work, Alan. Let's see the whole workflow in action. A new request is submitted through the form, creating a task in the request project. It's automatically assigned to the right reviewer and multi-homed into my one-on-one -on -one project. Once it's in review, a comment is added to notify the submitter. If it passes that review, it'll be converted to an approval and assigned to the staffing team. If the request is approved, the event team can kick off their event planning workflow. This is so much more efficient. Glad to hear it, Alan. To recap, we identified several ways to optimize an ongoing process workflow. First, use forms to standardize work intake. Add rules to automate task assignment, custom field updates, section changes, and notifications. And finally, utilize approvals to streamline review cycles. Take a moment to consider, what will you optimize in your workflow to save time and improve collaboration? Up next, you'll learn how to socialize a workflow with your team to ensure successful adoption.